Hey yo, this is Dash, and I know it's been a minute since I've done a cooking video. So I figured the uh, last thing I did, or I think one of the last things I did, was use the Amazing Tube to uh, put some smoke flavor into a turkey breast. Tonight I'm going to be using it to put some uh, smoke flavor into some meatloaf. So I'm going to be doing two different types of meatloaf. I have a beef meatloaf, and then I'm going to be doing a chicken meatloaf. So uh, I wanted to show you before I blew the Amazing Tube out what it looked like. Okay, and all this is is again, this is pellets. I got some oh, cherry pellets. I got these from uh, Bass Pro Shop, and these are what they look like. It's hard sawdust, compressed sawdust. All right, and if you remember the last bag that I had, it got wet and the pellets got all light and fluffy, which contributed to them uh, not actually <coughs> excuse me it contributed to them not actually uh, cooking very long um, and I think I could have had a little bit more flavor in that turkey if the pellets were uh, better so like I said I'm gonna blow out the pellets I'm gonna go get my chicken and my uh, beef uh, to make me look all right I'll be back All right, now you see how see how much better this is smoking now, and it's not hot because I just have stuff in the corner. So I have fire going, offset fire here, and I'm gonna put my beef meatloaf about here and my chicken meatloaf about here. All right, so I'm back out at the grill. <clears throat> And here's my setup. One one tube on on high up here. There's the beef. There's the chicken. There's the amazing tube. I'm gonna close this up actually before I do that. All right. So before I uh, go ahead and close this up, I'm going to use my uh, temperature probes, and hopefully you can see the ambient air temperature right now is 95 degrees. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get those, get these probed, and uh, we'll go from there. Yep. Back. back out of the uh, grill, and I just uh, added some sauce to the chicken meatloaf, and the beef meatloaf is looking good. I'm thinking I might actually move the beef up once the chicken is done because the chicken is cooking so much faster because it's so much smaller. Uh, also. There's a kind of difficult to see down in the tube, but the amazing smoking tube is doing some amazing smoking. So, next update when the um, chicken meatloaf is done. All right, so I'm back out at the grill and the chicken temped out at 165, so I'm gonna take that off of the grill. The uh, beef, I'm going to Excuse me. The beef I'm going to move over so it's the grease is not directly over the flame as it is now. And um, we're going to continue to watch that. So uh, I'll be back in a bit. Actually, while I'm out here, I think I'm going to put some sauce on the beef and then um, bring it inside. Once All right, so uh, after I took it off, I cut into the uh, chicken meatloaf. And uh, it's not bad. I just realized I'm not, I really am not a big fan of meatloaf. Anyway, I was looking to see if there was any sort of smoke ring or anything like that. Unfortunately, there is not, but there's hope. The beef is still uh, yet to come, but we'll see what happens, all right? The beef is still uh, yet to come, but we'll see what happens, all right? And that, Ladies and gentlemen, is where I messed up. So, no long drawn out excuses or not going to lie to you guys. I straight forgot to film the ending when I took the beef meatloaf off of the grill and I brought it in the house. Honestly enough, um, we were ready to eat and I just uh, plain forgot to take out the camera. 
Um, that chicken meatloaf, I'm, I'm really not a meatloaf fan. Um, I tried to put it on the, the grill and use that amazing tube. It did not have any uh, smoke flavor, uh, smoke flavor whatsoever. I have smoked meatloaf in the past. Um, I used uh, Vicky, I believe, to cook. Uh, I did a beef meatloaf, and it turned out phenomenally. Now, mind you, this time when I cooked the meatloaf, I didn't have any onions and I didn't have any peppers. So, and I didn't feel like going to the store, the market, to get any. So I just kind of went with it. It was seasoned very well. I um I tried a, a different seasoning, and that worked out very well. The chicken, um, my wife has um not beef. It seems like it gives her uh, a decent decent indigestion. So a lot of times when you see me cook different things, and if I have something like a beef something or something else, uh, the reason being is uh, beef gives my wife indigestion, and um, I try to accommodate as such. So I'll cook different things for her to make sure she can eat as well those things being said the chicken it was a ground chicken um so in case you're wondering how i made me a little fat of chicken it was a ground chicken similar to like a ground turkey or a ground beef um that i found at the market and i figured i would try it the problem i have um majority of the time or or the problem i have is <sighs> excuse me so the the problem I have with that chicken is I made it a little too salty. Um, I season things to smell a lot more often than not um, because I feel like if I can smell the seasoning, uh, it's, it's really hard to explain. But in a nutshell, if it smells good, it should taste better. Hopefully that makes sense. And that's how I season a lot of my things too. I season a lot of things to a certain smell. And I guess it's just over time of me cooking, I've gotten to the point where I can do that. Uh, that does not work for everybody, but um, it seems to be working for me. Things are okay. Um, one of the things, though, obviously you can't smell how salty something's going to be. Um, those things being said, the meatloaf turned out um, pretty pretty good. My sons and I, and my daughter actually, um, we killed it. We ate more than half of that thing. I think the boys had seconds. And um, yeah, so again, it was another experiment. Honestly enough, like I said, I forgot the film ending. But as far as the fact that I used the Amazing Tube, I cooked meatloaf, I wasn't going to not show you guys this footage. So hopefully you appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, think about turning on the notifications. Maybe you could uh, not miss a video by having the notifications on. Um, don't forget, check out some of those links down in the um, description for some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools. And I'll catch you in the next one.